This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at America on Wheels, great museum, automotive, actually transportation museum over here in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and we've got Al. Today is a very special day. You can buy a ride in an old car, and Al's our chauffeur today, we like that, of 1922 Buick. Uh, now I'm noticing the uh, station body, the uh, commonly referred to as Woody. Whose body is that, do you know? Yeah, no, I don't know whose body is that, but mm -hmm. I mean, this is what they call the depot hack. And this 1923 Buicks mm -hmm. were commissioned to that to take people from the train station back to their uh, point of destination. This is a 1923 unrestored, of course, mm. refreshed mechanically, but uh, gently uh, given to us today for the rides by the NB Center and uh, it's a fantastic experience. I encourage everybody to come and go for a ride. If you've never ridden in an old car, it is an experience. The pre-war has a feel unto itself. It is That's remarkable, right. just That's remarkable. And of course, it's got a lot of modern conveniences such as air conditioning. <laughs> you laugh. The best one, the natural one. Right, right here you've got the split shield. You open it up, that's your air conditioning. Yeah. The flow through ventilation, yeah. which they always thought was new, but here we go. Yeah. I love all the wood. Mercedes and BMW has nothing on this wood. <laughs> this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now, under the hood is the overhead valve six or eight? It's an overhead six. Very good. And uh, 218 cubic inches, uh, three speed, mm -hmm. in, in inverted pattern. So it's oh, nice. first, second, third, and reverse first reverse second and third uh-huh uh and uh what is pretty common back in the day for buick and but well, it's a little bit it's a pleasure to drive but it's not nothing about uh, power steering of course and no conveniences to oh wait a minute easier. you have power steering <laughs> right there right there. there you go <laughs> it works it's, it's it's a great car. I and mean, of course, rear brakes only, only mechanical. Only rear brakes. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. That's correct. And uh, did you see the speedometer in there? How no, nice let's take it a look. Is, see. As charming it is, it operates in a horizontal way. Oh, see. that's brilliant. Yeah. And it has a clock too. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty neat. There's your full gauges. The, the, the temperature gauge is in the front of the car, mm -hmm. so the driver could see right there through this window here. The motometer. Or not. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine and you. That is an official if you motometer. You go for a ride. The museum is taking as a fundraising today. This is beautiful. I always love the Firestone non skids. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> when was the next trip? So we go down to a Riverside Road and come That's back. That's Spark, and, and that is uh, idle. Let's go, we're ready. There we go, all you right. Front desk, please. Yeah. Side the waiver, make the payment, and go back, please. Okay. Thank you. This is fantastic. And if you notice, one tail light, that is normal. It does have a stop light. As I said before, it does have the single other uh, only rear brakes which are external contracting you see how that works there pretty neat there's the gas filler which you would open up in the trap door on the floor wow that is absolutely brilliant i love the way how you have to uh expel the uh, back seat passenger to fill her up <laughs> That is wonderful. Yeah. That is wonderful. But at least you've got a gas gauge on the dashboard. Yeah. Unlike the uh, other guys from uh, Dearborn where you used the stick. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's always cool. I can't wait to see this running, Alex. This is, uh, Alex is excellent. Alex is yeah. your brother. And one thing that is not, I mean, it could be a little bit scary on a rainy day. Is when you, when you put the... The, the sides down, I will right. not put it because it will hard to roll it back. Yes. They don't have a window. They are just a straight piece of canvas. Oh, really? Yeah, only this one has a window here to help the driver. Uh-huh. But the rest, they are solid. See? Oh, my gosh. It could be a little bit of an adventure in a rainy day. That's for sure. But, of course, you've got your side view mirror 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Never oh. mind. <laughs> <laughs> that is fabulous. Yeah. Absolutely fabulous. I always love the controls. You've got spark events and your idle up on the uh, steering wheel. And you've got the normal pedals underneath. Uh, but you also have the starter. And you have a third pedal up there. Is that just a dead pedal? The, the, the one at the top of the, yes. the throttle. That's to start the car on the okay. top. And that one is just to rest your foot on. Oh, okay. So I've got yeah. backwards. Very good. Very good. Yeah, that is too cool. That is too cool. Can't wait to start uh, chauffeuring people around. Yeah, people have lots of fun. And we invite everyone to come check the website of American Wheels Museum. And uh, you'll have the schedule already, the calendar of events. And when the rides will happen. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Well... We're waiting for the first victim, I mean our passengers. <laughs> first of the day, this is great. These kids are going to learn all about early morning motoring. Again, 1923 Buick. Is that good? That's it? It's amazing is that the people seemed a lot smaller back then. Alright. All right, you're gonna help me drive it? That's great. Holy sir. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Listen to that power pipe. That's the uh, I So what did you think about driving in a 100-year-old car? It was very interesting. What did you find interesting? The car, it's like very low seats. Ah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Now, can you imagine driving this car year-round, winter and summer? <laughs> It'd be pretty interesting. It would be pretty interesting. First, you on the front, okay? Make things happen. This is great. This is the way we spread the hobby. We've got new enthusiasts sprouting as you see it. Again, this is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2023 uh, Drive No Car event over here at America on Wheels Transportation Museum in Allentown, PA. For more cool events like this, make sure you check your car show calendars. NortheastWheelsEvents.com, UKWheelsEvents.com, SoutheastWizEvents.com And while you're there, post and promote your events. I'll see you at the shows. And remember, bring a kid to an old car show.